What's going on today guys, Tomcat here, and today I'm bringing you guys another GTA 5 custom car build slash customization. Now, in this video we're going to be building the, uh, the Futo, which is basically the AE86 slash 8511, I, it's, it's a mix of all of them pretty much. And I did a build of this car a long time ago, uh, right about the time GTA 5 first came out, and... It was, I don't know, it, I didn't have a lot of stuff unlocked at the time, and it just wasn't a complete build. But I wanted to redo that build now that I have a bunch of stuff unlocked and, uh, a, and a lot of money to put towards this car. We can definitely really see what we can get out of this car. So a lot of you guys have been saying, you never do, you know, we never see you do brakes. So the first thing I'm going to upgrade is race oh brakes. Um, for the bumpers, um, the front splitter looks nice. We're not going to do the rally right now. Um, retro racer kit looks cool. Um, wait just a minute though. Um, I actually like the retro, mm, no, actually no. Um, that's a hard choice actually. I like the, I like the custom front splitter the most, I think. Or no, actually no, I've just seen the retro racer kit. I didn't realize that that came with fender flares. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and have that then. And then we're just going to go ahead and go with the uh, the drift bumper in the rear. And then for the engine, just bring it all the way up. Level 4. All the power. Now, for the exhaust. Um, <laughs> the last time I did a build of one of these, I used this, um, this type of exhaust. Uh, that split exhaust. And, yeah, I got a lot of <laughs> negative feedback for that. Um, and honestly, I feel like... I don't know, that was almost like a joke build, in a sense, but I actually really like the uh, the race exhaust. So we're going to go ahead and go with the race exhaust, because I think it looks sweet. And for the, uh, we're going to avoid explosives. Um, blacked out grill, or completely remove the grill. I'm actually more inclined to, it's either going to be blacked out or removed. And I'm actually thinking we're going to, mm, I'm thinking we're going to keep the black grill, actually. And for the hood, we go with a carbon hood or a vented carbon hood. I like the vented carbon hood personally. And that we'll, we'll save the horn for later. Uh, xenon beams, definitely. And for our plate, mm, we can come back and think about that later. Roll cage. Um, basically, all that gives us, what that gives us is, the ra is a racing seat and a, actually a very discreet roll cage. So I'm going to go ahead and go with that. I don't like roll cages that are like crazy all over the place, you know, like tons of scaffolding in the car. Um, but that, that's actually a nice discreet roll cage, so we can go with that. And then the roof, um, oh, so basically a little roof wing. It looks kind of interesting. I don't know how I feel about it. I might come back and take a look at it again later. But, um, for the skirts, we're gonna need skirts because it fits the body kit. And for the spoiler, now we've got a lip spoiler, we've got a ducktail spoiler, which looks very cool. Uh, the GT wing and the drift wing. Now, the drift wing is pretty massive, but then again... At least in real life, it would be functional. I mean, I don't think I don't think wings are pretty are, are that that functional in GTA. I don't think they take that into account as far as the physics model goes. So I'm gonna go with the ducktail spoiler because I think it looks really really clean. And for the suspension, we're gonna go ahead and drop it as much as we can to the street suspension. I wish we could drop it to the competition suspension, but honestly, like, look at how much of an incremental difference it is between those two settings. I mean, it is a little bit, but. It's almost unnoticeable. It's so I don't know the, the the increments are so small. Race transmission definitely, full race turbo. And for the wheels, the wheels that we have on it are nice, but I want to see what else we can get our hands on. Now, those look cool. Those look cool as well, definitely. I'm thinking I'm thinking we might actually look at some of <laughs> Fujiwara. Nice. I'm actually going to look at the sport wheels, because they're a little bit bigger, and I feel like some of them might actually look better, depending on depending on the type that I go for. Boom. Boom. Those look awesome. Those look so awesome for this car. That, that fits pretty much perfectly, actually. Either, well... 
I don't know, the Super 5s, I think. Yeah, th those are even better than the last ones we looked at. We're going to go ahead and go with those because those look amazing. We're going to change the color, though. Yeah, black looks good. At least with this color combo, black looks really good. This is the same stuff they use on armor. And then, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and do the respray now because I like to do all the, the parts first. I like to get all the parts on the car and then do the paint job because then, that way I can kind of see um, a little bit more of what I'm doing. So let's do, let's try um, some metallic colors and see where we can go with that. And I like, actually I like the dark steel. That actually looks really, really cool. The Torino red looks nice and it actually kind of, wow, the light kind of blends it into the fender flares. That looks, that looks interesting. I like how it, I don't know, it, it, the, the color is just kind of like rolling over. It's kind of cool. And then, wow, the lava though, the lava kind of, the lava is really shiny. And, oh, wow, wow, that looks really good. I think I'm going to go with the yellow because, I don't know, that looks pretty awesome to me. And I think it fits the car well too. So we're going to go ahead and take this thing out and uh, take it for a little test drive and see how it does. I'm expecting it'll be pretty tail happy and uh, it definitely won't, uh, won't disappoint as far as um, its ability to kick the tail end out. Oh yeah, it's <laughs> it's definitely not hard. I mean, just a couple of taps of the e-brake every once in a while, and you'll keep it sideways, no problem. I feel like this car might have a harder time going in a straight line than going sideways. Let's see if that's true. Maybe. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. This thing is pretty legit. When it comes to going sideways, this thing is pretty legit. That was a little bit slow, but let's see if we can. Uh, I'm sure we can redeem ourselves on the next corner. Much better. Oh, there we go. I mean, it feels controlled. See, that's the thing. Oh, okay, that bump really screwed me up. I didn't even think it was going to be there. It didn't look like there was going to be a bump there. That was weird. But yeah, um, the the balance of this car feels good. The um, the way it uh, the way it just kind of um, feels in the corner. It, it feels very stable. Um, it feels very planted. You're it, it, unless you're going over. Um, you know, bumps like I was uh, back there, and that was a really bad drift. We're going to need to redo that because that sucked. Um, as long as you're not going over any bumps, you're, you should be okay. Because, again, it's very controllable. It's easy to catch. And let me see if I can get... Yeah, there we go. Tapping the e-brake a little bit. Went a little bit wider than I thought we would, but... Or at least wider than I wanted to go. There we go. There we go. As long as you keep it pretty much centered, um, it's like you kick it out... And then you keep it centered, a little bit of counter steer, tapping the e-brake, you'll be fine. Totally fine. It's it's an easy car um, to control once it's sideways. It applies its power well, and it does it does so in a very linear fashion. So you're never um, you're never worried about a surge of power randomly coming on and throwing you off. Um, and I know because some cars are like that in GTA. Some cars have like these power peaks that are kind of uh, kind of difficult to anticipate. This one, not so much, if any at all. Even though it is turboed, it doesn't have any kind of, um, any kind of power that'll just, you know, just kick in immediately. It's not like, like, where's my power, where's my power, and then boom, there's all your power, and it spins you, you know, spins you around and spits you out backwards. It's nothing like that. It's got quite a bit of control to it, and it's not a difficult car to go sideways in. As you can, as you can see, it's, it's not, uh, there's not much, that much effort involved in, um, in taking this car around corners in a slidey way, a <laughs> slidey manner. Oh god, I thought about drifting in cinematic camera, and then I realized, you know what, that's probably a horrible idea. There's literally, like, no traffic around here, though. It's awesome. You can just drift wherever you want. Love that, seriously. Okay, 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 that was almost a little bit too much angle. And a little bit too much speed. 
There's like the, that's like the one traffic car I've seen in the this in this like entire session. Oh, there's the other one. <laughs> Out of the like all the traffic that's um that's supposed to be roaming around, I've seen like maybe me total like okay. Wow. I was like, break, 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 and it didn't happen. <laughs> it didn't happen. The breaking didn't happen early enough. Oh, wow, this is cool. Stay off of the- never mind. I was about to be like, stay off of the wall, and then, yeah, we were on the wall. Wow, you get a lot more tire smoke in here, that's for sure. It's a lot tighter of an area, though, so you gotta be a bit more precise, but... I don't know, I mean, keep tapping the E-brake, and you'll be fine. Modulate the- okay, never mind. I was going to say, modulate the throttle, tap the e-brake, and, I mean, you'll get the hang of it. It's not very difficult. It's just something you're going to have to practice at, and it's different for each car, too. Which is the reason why it can seem really difficult, because if you get, you know, if you've got a car that you use as your, like, your primary, for example, and then you go get into something else, and it feels totally different, it's like almost like you can't drift. Um, there's, there's definitely, like, a, a learning curve to it, but with this one, uh, this particular car, even if you drift... Uh, like mainly drift different cars You shouldn't have that much of an issue switching over uh, to the Futo. It's definitely got an Enough of a balance that it's it's d definitely decently accessible. I wouldn't say it's the m Well, actually I was about to say it wasn't the most accessible car, but actually It's quite possibly the most accessible car in GTA for drifting Let me see if I can get a nice bit of Oh, wow, okay. It was right next to that traffic car. The whole time I was like, don't hit the traffic car, don't hit the traffic car. <laughs> he doesn't deserve it. He never did anything to you. Okay. Yeah, um, <laughs> when you're drifting, it's recommended not to uh, run straight into uh, light poles. Yeah, it's recommended. Not necessary, but recommended. Get a couple more clean ones real quick. If I can, there we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. The heck, buddy? Dang. I'm trying to drift here. Bring it around. Yeah, there we go. Maybe a little bit too much angle coming out of it, but definitely not, um, not a tricky car um, by any means. It's very, like, the way this thing goes sideways is the way that you think it should. It's not, like, it's not going to play any tricks on you. Um, it does everything the way you think it should. So, I definitely, if you, um, if any of you guys want a really good starter car, this is definitely um, a great one to start with. If you can put the all the engine upgrades in, get a full race turbo, um, and you'll be good to go. You'll be good to go, and it's a fun car as well. And it looks good. It, it, it's, it's not like... One of those cars where it's like all performance and no looks either. It's 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 got the looks and it's got the performance to back it up. So I hope you guys enjoyed the build. And if you did, don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. And I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later.